It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. North Central Netball, nowhere near the controversy there, as we saw on the football field, thankfully. But look, uh, some really good matches played in round one last week. Susan Lockhart is back with us to go through round one and what we can expect to see in round two. Susan, how are you going? Good. Thank you, Jason. How are you going? Really well, thank you. First of all, uh, how good was it to see netball and netballers back on the court last weekend? Yeah, very exciting. Everybody loved it. It was just a real vibe around the place. I was in Donald, who used their indoor court for the first time, which I'll touch on that later. But um, it was a real vibe. Everyone was smiling and catching up. A few hugs that I don't know if they're allowed to hug yet, but there was a few hugs going on. And <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was really good. Well, I don't think anyone's going to begrudge a hug or two at this point in time. Uh, we'll get to uh, the Wedderburn crew in a moment. But first, let's start with the closest result of last week which was in Charlton, where uh, the home side, Charlton, 40, defeated Witcher Proof, Narraport, 31. Good game of netball, this one. Yeah, it was. And I picked Charlton just based on the fact that I had um, a little bit of insight that they had a few players coming back to their club and they had a few young ones. So they've got Kirsten McKenzie, Aaron McGurk, Chloe Walsh, Maddie Cormie that were back in last week. And they're all past premiership players for the club. So... That'd be a bit of a thrill for them to have them back. And they've got these Maddie Robert from Abby Thompson, young mm-hmm. girls coming through. And there's probably more that I don't even know about. Mm. But they are really going to be hard to beat this year if they continue with that. I know they got off to a great start and um, probably left Witchy a bit dumbfounded. I'm not sure. But Witchy did fight back. I think it was only a four-goal margin going to the last turn. And then... Carlton um, got away to nine goals by the end result. Well done to them. They book into the game really well. So great start to the season for them, which proved narrow port with a little bit of work to do, but um, it's only early yet. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other results. Uh, we might go to Bort next, who absolutely thrashed Sea Lake Nandaly, uh, 63 to 21. Ooh. Big result for them. I know. What a surprise. I'm, I'm surprised that Sea Lake didn't um, do better than that. I know the board are going to be strong. I did say they'll be one and two this year, somewhere around there. Um, they've got, um, you know, they got the league best and fairest, Roxanne Eldridge. She's probably playing again, which I've not confirmed, but I'm assuming. Kelly Isaac's back there and the horse, which is Georgia and uh, Steph. They, they're strong players too. So, you know, they played a night game and maybe Sea Lake were a few down. I'm not really sure. School holidays were on. Mm. Um, but the board dominated. So, Obviously, they're setting the bar. Yep, indeed. Uh, the Bulls, Birchip Watcham, uh, 38 over St. Arnold, 19. They've got some work to do up front, St. Arnold, but uh, a pretty good game of netball all round. Uh, a, a pretty solid win for Birchip Watcham in their first game of the year. Yeah, Birchip Watcham um, did have a good win, which I probably thought that they were going to. But Georgia Lee um, has done an ACL in the last quarter, and mm. Jeff Prince did her Achilles, the goal defence. So, They've got two girls now out of that first watching team, which is they're big players, really big players. Georgia Lee's a, a league um, winner, and she's, she's just a really awesome little player. So I'm yet to talk to anybody there and see, but those girls will be season-ending there. And Sonana, you know, they're going to keep improving, and hopefully they keep doing well. So 19, what was it, 20? Yeah, 30, 38 to 19. So, um, oh, yeah. yeah, so uh, defence really ruled the roost. Definitely. It was a windy day, and it is always windy up at Sonata. So, you know, that could have been a, a bit of factor into a low scoring as well. No doubt. Well, you can tell the game that was played indoors. That's the last one we'll talk about because the losing side here rattled off 37 in Donald. But uh, Wedderburn enjoyed, your girls enjoyed the uh, the indoor conditions, obviously. 58 goals on the board, a comfortable 21-goal win to start things off. But uh, I imagine it probably didn't feel comfortable. Oh, well, you know what? They got up to a really good start. They were always that little bit ahead, Wedderburn, all the way through. So, and they kept increasing their lead at each um, changeover, which was great. The indoor facility was beautiful. Something to note that happened up there that um, on Saturday was Sharon Lockhart. She's a bit of a veteran now. She came on the court and played with her four daughters who were all playing A grade. I told you last week yeah. that Emma, Emma, Grace, Olivia and Eliza were taking the court together for the first mum came on the court in the last quarter and got to play in the game in A grade with them, which was gorgeous. Just beautiful. 
That's fantastic. So, look, um, uh, I think that the the players are going to appreciate that indoor facility when they get a chance to have a crack on it. So, uh, Donald, oh, very yeah. very spoiled getting to play on that all year. Yeah, well, they probably are. I don't know if everybody thinks it's a great thing. Maybe it's controversial, you know, controversial, but they get this great facility indoors. But we also get to play on it. And when they move outdoors, they've got to adjust and play outdoors too. So I think we should relish the opportunity to play on it. It's a beautiful facility. The courts are soft um, to fall on, you know, no raises or anything like that. So let's, um, let's hope everybody gets out there and enjoys it. Indeed. Well, they'll have to adjust this week. We'll have a look at this week's round of matches, and Donald will be on the road. They head to uh, Witcherproof, I think, to take on Witcherproof Narraport. This should be an interesting game. Well, I reckon so too. I think it will, based on the results from last week. Um, I got it mixed up last week. I said that Nancy Bryce was coaching the Donald A grade. It's actually Vicky Ganell, and she's an awesome coach too. She's been over at Minya Mattel for many years, and she's getting back into coaching back in Donald now. So, um, you know, could go either way. And I think I might just go Donald just because I've seen them play last week, and they've got a great little team. So, yeah, um, lots of improvement to do, and they'll be working hard at that. Indeed. Bort, uh, they get to Birchip Watcham. Uh, this is at Bort, and she's Birchip losing a couple of really important players. Uh, not not the ideal week to get hold of Bort, I wouldn't have thought. No, unfortunately. Bort are going to dominate this one, I'd say. And, yeah, I don't know what Birch have got to come in and replace it. They have got good numbers. That's a positive. So hopefully they've got some players that can come in and take the place Georgia and Jess that are out now. So, yeah, Bort will... Well, we'll win this one probably pretty easily, though, saying that. See, like yeah. Nan Daly, um, this is going to be an interesting one, too. They host Charlton, uh, maybe getting a couple of players back. I guess we'll find out. But, um, yeah, mm. who's going to win this one? Oh, well, I'm going to go with Charlton again because I've said that they're going to be the big improvers this mm. year. So, probably going to find I'm going to back them a lot this year. Um, just, uh, I, I, if all those players turn up to, car, to uh, the court again that played last week, that's... Uh, will probably hold them in good stead, and I think they'll defeat Sea Lake probably pretty convincingly. Mm. And we know Wedderburn will be in the top two. They normally are. Um, uh, Sonata will be down the bottom. And uh, what's a pass mark here for Sonata? This is going to be played at Wedderburn. Uh, how many do they need to get within to say they've had a good day? If they come within 20 goals, I would be passed for them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it should be a, a good round of matches again in North Central Netball. And uh, look forward to chatting to you about them again next week. Until then, enjoy the weekend's netball. Good on you, Jason. Thank you very, very much. Have a good week.